full refund. Valley News Live 10 at 10 continues with no wait weather. So I think we're getting used to this temperatures 30 to 35 degrees above where they should be this oh, yeah. time of year. Uh, records shattered across the region again today and uh -huh. uh, and uh, that's not going to be the case as we go through the second half of the month of March, oh, unfortunately. Oh man, they had to lay it on us, huh? <laughs> yeah, things had to change. Everything's going to average out, but um, we still got a few days left of really yeah. nice weather. And it happens good. as the weekend starts. There we go. Let's take a look at that tower cam time lapse. We had mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies as we went through this afternoon. That southerly flow and the sunshine this time of year really got temperatures up there as we saw record highs across the area for the day today. Highs uh, of uh, record highs of 63 in Fargo and at uh, Grand Forks. Um, uh, temperatures at uh, Jamestown at 65 degrees for a high today. We also hit a record high of 70 degrees as we made our way down toward Sisseton. And as you uh, make your way into Minnesota, temperatures ranging from the mid-50s into the lower 60s with the high temperatures today. Temperatures still pretty warm out there into the 10 o'clock hour. 40 right now at Fargo, Grand Forks at 42. 36 right now, the cool spot at Jamestown. We're seeing uh, some clear conditions out there. Temperatures uh, into the mid-40s as you make your way into Northland, Minnesota. Here's the satellite loop over the last three hours or so. We saw partly cloudy to mostly clear skies just north of Fargo. Clear spot just to the north of Jamestown. But we are staying dry out there as we go through this evening with that mix of uh, the stars and clouds. High pressure off to our south. A very uh, strong southerly flow is getting temperatures up there. With that sunshine today, we did see the, those record highs. We're tracking a low pressure system just off to our west that will get into our forecast area as we go through Saturday night into Sunday and that will change things for us. But we're still tracking all that rain that's falling into portions of Mississippi and Alabama reaching back into Texas quiet into the northeast and into the Rocky Mountain states and there's some rain off the west coast that will start to get into our area as we go through Sunday night but still uh, through the overnight period into the day on Saturday still plenty of sunshine out there another day where uh, record highs will be in danger temperatures well into the 60s in most places. We'll st start to see an increase in the clouds as we go through Saturday evening and into the overnight Saturday into Sunday. And we have that chance of some showers and possibly some thunderstorms as we go through the day on Sunday. Temperatures still pretty warm for this time of year to round out the weekend. Sunday's high is close to 60 degrees. We're starting off near 40 as you plan your day for the day tomorrow in Fargo. 58 by noon and we'll see mostly sunny skies near record highs again. 65 by 5 p.m. into the upper 60s and lower 70s across the Southern Valley. Mostly sunny skies into Lakes Country for tomorrow. Sunny and warm into the mid to upper 60s out there. Northland, Minnesota, not bad for this time of year. Uh, temperatures into the upper 50s and lower 60s into the Northern Valley. Sunny and warm temperatures close to 60 up north and closer to 70 as you make your way further south. Now extending the forecast for the day on Sunday, a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. High of 59 degrees. We're going to stay dry on Monday. Monday, a partly cloudy high near 60, then 50 on Tuesday, a 40% chance of rain showers turning breezy with a mix of some rain and snow showers for Wednesday, a high near 40, and a slight chance of some flurries or snow showers both Thursday and Friday, but temperatures are going to be near normal for this time of year into the low to mid 30s. So uh, no more 60s after that. The trend does show uh, much cooler air coming for the third and fourth weeks of March. So enjoy this weekend. We're going to be back to normal later on this week. We could be driving through some snow also. Yeah, at least four good days out there. Yeah, I mean, four it's good all fine this time of year anyway, right? Yeah, things start to change on Tuesday. So yeah. we have this weekend and the start of next week. All right, thanks, Justin. Yep. Still to come tonight.